Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2021 science fiction film White Sky, a film that is directed by Adam Wilson and it stars Aid Dumbleine, Natalie Martins and McKenna Geiler. Now this is an alien invasion film of sort and it focuses on um, two sisters initially who essentially go to the woods camping um, and one of them takes their partner with them. Um, essentially, one of the sisters is a drug addict, so they're, they're going cold turkey in the woods with her to help her, basically. And while they're doing this, there just happens to be a giant spacecraft uh, arrive. Um, they question briefly whether this is going to be a friendly encounter. They soon learn the truth of that, and it isn't. Uh, it lets off this... Um, signal almost this craft and then all hell, hell 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 breaks loose and they have to stay hidden in the woods to try and survive so that they don't come across any of these altered humans that have been affected by this signal right what are my thoughts on white sky well this is a low budget science fiction film um uk based um and it it's okay. It's, it's it's a decent enough watch is this one. Now, as alien invasion films go, it's pretty insular, I suppose. Um, I mean, the initial excitement you might get from seeing this huge spacecraft above in the sky is short-lived, really, because that's the last you see of that craft or anything associated with that craft. The film then kind of becomes a tightly knit thriller, for the most part, where you've got this group of people, you've got these two sisters, the partner of one of the sisters, and then there's the other character, Liam, who they run into in the woods, who agrees to help them and allow them to stay with him um, at his premises in the woods, which is like a little cabin and some tents and things like that. Um, and they've got a kind of have an uneasy alliance with this guy, Liam, who they run into in the woods. Um, because they basically realise they have to kind of stick together to stay alive because it soon becomes apparent that these altered humans uh, that have been altered by this signal um, are kind of relentless and seeking out um, the unaltered humans to kind of put an end to that. So it almost becomes something else. It becomes a bit like a thriller. Um, and the, while there are still elements of science fiction, it kind of delves more into thriller and occasionally almost like zombie horror film at times because that's how these humans who have been altered by this signal present themselves, almost zombified. Um, you've kind of seen it before in alien invasion films, especially low budget ones. Obviously, they can't be too lavish with the budget and the effects. So how do they best choose to portray um, the aliens in these films? through making up humans and you can identify these altered humans here in this film because they've got like a um oily inky su ink substance that's coming out of all the orifices it's leaking out everywhere um and there, there is actually a couple of fairly tense moments where they're trying to creep around this forest area these woods trying not to attract any attention to themselves because as soon as these altered humans see you the kind of zone in on you and they're, they're off like a rocket like you say in bolt they're chasing you down and there's like this weird white powdered stuff comes off them and they do actually look quite menacing and quite frightening and it's quite effective but it, you never get anything more than this you never really learn anything more about this alien invasion how it's affecting the country or even the world as a whole you just get these characters in these woods uh, dealing with the situation that they're in which is okay i guess um but it, it, it just feels a bit too confined to these characters in these woods and you never get any more knowledge really of what's going on and why things are happening and how what's happened to these humans why are they altered um the performances for the most part here are effective and impressive i don't have any any problems with any of the performances here all the, all the actors here in this film do a decent job and they're actually fairly layered and complex characters for the most part um the two sisters have got a strained relationship due to one of them being a drug addict this character liam that they're introduced to with who they meet in the woods and offers to kind of um keep them safe He's a very complex... I mean, essentially, you're under no illusion fairly quickly that he's, 
he's pretty much the villain of the piece in regards to the human characters. But he's actually quite a much more complex character than that. He shows moments of compassion. Um, he has softer moments. Um, but then he has moments of real villainousness about him. Um, and so he's actually not just a one-tone character. He's actually been quite smartly written, I suppose. So you don't hate him immediately from the start. There are moments where you dislike the character and there are other moments you think, actually, he's not that bad. And you're never really sure which way he's going to go until he does, if you like, until he does go a certain way. Um, so it, it, it's fairly watchable, this, but also it's fairly limited and fairly predictable at the same time. It never deviates away from them running away from these altered humans in the woods kind of thing, other than the complex relationships that they've got going on um, within the dynamic that they're in. So I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. It's a, it's a decent watch for a low-budget science fiction film uh, that addresses an alien invasion. Um, there are some decent moments in it. It's nicely performed um, and certainly not going to be a complete waste of your time. So a 5 out of 10 from me. So I hope you found this review useful. Thank you very much for watching. And of course, I'll be back with plenty more content on the channel very, very soon.